Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And this video is going to be about happy birthday to Jewel, the haunted house strikes back. Now Jewel is my favourite dark ride on the planet. Now that is my opinion. And I'm not joking, it is my favourite dark ride on the planet. I mean the semen in here is just so amazing and incredibly done. So yeah, in this video we're not just going to do like an ordinary happy birthday video like we did with Oblivion. I've decided I'm going to actually do a bit of work onto Jewel, show you a bit of my updates which I'm doing currently right now onto my recreation on Planet Coaster. So uh, yeah, I'll give you a quick tour before we get started. So what I need to do then in the outside queue line, I need to add like some more bushes or I mean trees actually here. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think I need to add some more gravestones around as well. And obviously change the look of this, because this does not look very nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So about that, a game saving. Okay, so... Yeah, so we're going to do quite a few updates in this video. Um, the facade, I have uh, just changed some of the vines going up here, just like here. I ain't done any other work to the facade, I don't think. And as we go inside, there's no updates in there. I think I've added a few more cobwebs since the last episode, I might have. A uh, new picture there. In here I'm starting to add some changes now, as you can probably notice. I have actually, the dollhouse here might look a bit different. Now the reason for this is because I've rebuilt the dollhouse for it to be bigger. Because I realised yesterday, I mean not yesterday, on Sunday when we went to on Towers, I had a look at the dollhouse in Jaws Q line and I thought, wow that is big in human, I mean that is big in person. So uh, yeah, I decided to make it a lot more average size than it is in real life there. Um, and yeah, I think what I need to do, I'll do this real quick right now actually, because there's no, it's not standing on a table or anything now, it's just on the floor because they don't use the projector on here anymore, so they don't need to use the table anymore, so they can just put it on the floor now. There we go. That looks good. So yeah, some more updates then. We've changed the colour of the walls to more of the, the, um, the cream looking colour rather than that yellow it was because I still obviously need to do some work into here because the walls in here were this yellowy colour and I've changed them all now to the colour they actually look like I've just got some more work to do here and then we've got loads of work to do in the queue line in this video actually so I suppose we better get started with the actual work then so we're going to start off by just finishing off the colours on the walls here just like that and we're also actually going to do what we're going to do we're going to be rearranging this part here to go to the very back so it doesn't like go like this it goes like just like a proper corner this search uh, shouldn't be too hard to do really So yeah, Joel is 30 today, I can't believe that happy birthday, happy 30th birthday to Joel, a very special birthday as well, but I mean, a three and a no, wow, it is a big number now Joel, getting old, no offence Joel, but yeah, this is a really special ride to me Joel, I hope to see it for another 30 more years or longer hopefully. I hope it never goes because it is a very special ride for me and a lot of people of course. I've just realised the wall comes out here as well. So uh, yeah. I'm 
I'm not too sure what this grey thing is that goes around the room. I know it's probably like de decoration, but it's a funny design. I'm going back to the funny designs on Joel here, but yeah. So there we go, now we've got the um, the queue line to come all the way up here to like a proper corner. Uh, we just need to move this a bit. But yeah, so we're making it a bit more smoother because when I started this recreation, it was quite funny looking, it wasn't very realistic, everything was too big or it was in a different position than it is in real life. But now I've changed it to make it look a lot more realistic. I've changed the size of the room with the new slants. My own custom flooring as well in here. And that looks a lot better there now, I'm just doing that. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do here though. Because that sticks out there and it's just too much of a big piece to be there. I might just have to leave it. Oh, I know what I'm going to do actually. I could just do this. There we go, that looks better. It's gonna have to, oh no, no. Sorry about that guys. It's funny the dual queue line, it, it took me a long time when I started it to think, oh so it slants there. Probably one of the hardest parts of that, this entire recreation actually, the slanted floors. And then in the end I realised it's just a little dip in the floor. So. I think I'm that used to going on Jewel now, I've been on it that many times. The slanted floors don't even like make me feel ooh anymore because I'm that used to it. Even building it on Planet Coaster it's probably just made me a lot more used to it. So yeah. So Jewel is the soundtrack on Jewel. It is such a good soundtrack. I know I mention this a lot, but because it's Jules' birthday, I'll mention it again. <laughs> so I just love the soundtrack on Jules as well, designed by, designed, uh, created by David Buckley, um, I believe. And you know, it's just such a good soundtrack. I don't know how this guy created this soundtrack, but it is just such a good one. I mean, you could listen to it all day there, but yeah. It, it's a lot better than the old soundtrack, this new one, because it sets more of an ambient, do you know what I mean? It's more spooky themed, like it's even got sound effects in it with like, the bats, or the crows, and the screams and stuff. So uh, yeah, this queue line's now starting to look, more, look, look, look a lot more realistic here. And what I'm also going to be doing in this episode. I'm going to be doing the 30th anniversary decorations because Jewel is 30 today. So yeah. And because I thought it's a very special birthday for Jewel Jewel is my favourite ride. It's a big day for Jewel as well. I mean, it's unfortunate it's not on a weekend because I bet Jewel might have been a slightly a bit busier with it being its 30th birthday. There'd be a lot of uh, vloggers going in there and stuff. So yeah. It's starting to look a lot more better now, this queue line. Especially now it goes all the way up there. Oh wow. Now it's making me feel weird just looking at it, how I've slanted the room. Oh, I, I think my improvements on Jewel now look a lot more better. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to be doing work on the ceiling. I uh, don't know how long this is going to take. I might, uh, I might not do it because I've got a lot of work to do here. 
But I'm actually need to. I actually need to paint. Not paint. I actually need to change the colour of the ceiling to like a, a more red colour. watching this. There we go. It's looking a lot more realistic this Q line now. There we go. So yeah, Jewel it's a very special ride. I'm really impressed with how it's aged as well. I know a lot of people are saying it's not very aged, it's not aged very well. But I think they're wrong. I think it's aged really well. The soundtrack's really improved. I know a lot of people were used to the old soundtrack because it was quite catchy and stuff. But I prefer the new one. It's just a lot more atmospheric. Atmospheric, I can't even remember the word. You know, it just sets the mood to this new soundtrack the game saving but yeah and it's so like this new soundtrack as well i don't know what i'd do if they got rid of it because it's such a it's very catchy i mean i, I would like literally listen to it it's a really good soundtrack so yeah it's annoying how the planet goes to music's on in the background sort of ruining it but yeah I always switch the Planet Coaster music off in the settings, but it somehow seems to reset itself magically, which is really annoying. So yeah, I bet it took a long time to build Jewel as well, because the work that has gone into Jewel when they were actually building it just looks incredible. I mean. All of the um, all of the theming in there, of course. All of the lighting as well. They use a lot of lighting on Jewel. And the queue line on the ride itself, outside even on the facade. I realise. So yeah, I really do appreciate Jewel, and I hope it does never go because it is such a special ride for me and a lot of other people, of course. good shape now every every time I do something to this queue line it's starting to look a bit more realistic like every time I build onto it but yeah so we're going to be building the um, 30th anniversary decor uh, theming that has just been added to Jewel as well of course it's not anything major it, oh, uh, it's just um, a new little book on the table in the first room the queue line that's the haunted house book and then there's um, also I believe there's the uh, 30th anniversary looking thing on the floor it just says 30 which is really good for like you know because all the towers are appreciating jewel there adding a bit more theming for it there but they've been turning 30 today so yeah you want, I don't it doesn't feel like it's Jill's birthday but it is just such a good ride I mean I do not know what would happen if they got rid of it. I probably would I probably would never see Alt Towers the same. I mean, I don't think I feel, I don't <laughs> look at the past week. I don't think there's any point in doing the ceiling there because it doesn't really look that much difference. Difference different to be honest. Unless you've got this light on of course. Oh yeah. I'm 
second, guys. So the team in Anjol, um, particularly, particularly the Q line, is really impressive because they've got like loads and loads and loads of cobwebs in there. Like I've added more cobwebs here in this room as well because there is just so many for some reason. Uh, Jewel likes their cob Jewel likes its cobwebs, doesn't it? But yeah. And then there's like down here like these toy looking things. This just says 30. Okay, so this is starting to come along really well now. I'm really impressed with this. Um, I don't know why I was doing the free that way around there. So yeah, it's, start, it's starting to take, take, take shape now, this queue line. I'm really impressed with what I've done. It's come along so well this recreation and uh, unfortunately at the same time fortunately it's coming to an end because it well it's taken me over a year to do but I don't mind that because it's a very special ride there's a lot of theming there's a lot of building into it and stuff you know so I don't mind that it's taken this long because it's very appreciatable, if that's a word. <laughs> there we go, that looks a lot better there. You can, it, it, oh, it even sh that shows up in the dark perfectly there. There we go, that's, I think, at the work on the queue line now, complete. Uh, there's just one more thing I need to add. In fact, no, I don't actually. I was thinking of adding the socially distanced mark as well. I, just, I think I'm going a bit OTT there. Um, get rid of this. Stick a while that's in the <laughs> It's not there in real life. So yeah, it's come along really well, Jewel. Now, I'm really appreciating it. I'm just going to uh, take you on a ride here quickly now, and we'll just talk about Jewel. So then, so this is Jewel. It used to look quite different back in the day, I believe. A lot of theming was like, you know, it had different paint jobs and stuff. There was a lot of different coloured lighting. I mean, the lighting on Jewel has been through a lot over the years. I also changed the lighting in here, by the way, and the ceiling, of course. Um, so yeah, the lighting on Jewel has changed a lot over the years. They're always changing things on Jewel. And yeah. Even like the speakers as well, where the soundtrack comes out. I, I believe in this section actually, there never used to be really loud speakers, and then they've changed that recently, so the speakers more play in there now. And there's a lot more places around Jewel where the speakers have changed over the years and they've started to play louder and stuff. So yeah, like when the queue line, when they changed the soundtrack and everything and the theming for Jewel. Um, I believe the speakers in the queue line room, which I've just been doing work to, um, that was um, 
the speakers in there, there was loads of speakers in there playing the amazing soundtrack, but for some reason they've got rid of the speakers in there which were playing the soundtrack. Unless they've used more for it, more in that station maybe, because the, the soundtrack's playing in the station now, so I reckon they've like moved the speakers into the station from the queue line room. Because they've got the speakers of course like hanging up on top of the uh, station itself. And uh, yeah. So I think there's just a couple more changes I need to do because when I went on Jordan on Sunday, I realised like these windows because I was shooting from behind actually. And I realised them windows actually right there, they're a lot bigger in person, guys. So yeah, there's a few bits I need to change, of course. But yeah. Um. So yeah, Jewel opened back in uh, the haunted house, as it was known as, as it was opened as. Back in 1992, it was. It's such a great ride. It always has been, in my opinion. All the advertisement that went into it as well when it first opened. You know, it's just been through so much, Jewel. Like, in a good way, it's been through so much amazingness. And you know, I feel like they should make more adverts for it these days because it's a quieter attraction now. Old Towers is. I don't think it's appreciated it as much as it should be. Because it only gets about a five minute queue. That's his average queue time. So you know, if you're on towers, please do ride Jewel because it is a perfect ride. You can't not go on Jewel. I mean, you know, I know they added the lasers, the lasers and stuff, and a lot of people don't like it as it was like anymore. They prefer it as the haunted house. But you know, I, to be honest, I think that the lasers now. Is making it a bit more for kids, really. And yeah, Alton Towers, they've got to keep it up, like, all for kids, all for teenagers, and all for adults as well. But I think the guns, yeah, it's, they get very competitive, but they've added, they've taken away a lot of the theming on Jewel when it, when it was changed to Jewel, of course. Now, there was a, um, in the very last room on Jewel, there was this weird looking, um, animal thingy which came out of the mouth like I'm talking about the very last room as you go back into the station and there was like this weird animal thingy that came out of the face and I was like oh right that looks a bit creepy actually I mean I'd, I'd actually be scared of that if I went on Jewel whereas now they've taken that away and it's just like a, you can't even see the actual uh, thingy anymore I'll show you what it is in a sec but yeah and I've noticed I think this room's a lot thinner as well in real life, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I do love a good ride on Jewel. Every time I go on it, I'm like, oh, I need to change that in Planet Coastal. Oh, I haven't added that there yet. Like this coffin here, actually. I'm not allowed to get in that because I realise there's like more theming around here and the spiders on the walls, of course. And then here is a room which they lack a lot of the theming. Like, I've just added some of these pipes on the wall. Of course, they are there in real life. Everything you see is there in real life. But, yeah. There's another zombie up there, I think, I just need to add as well. There's a... That, that was the thing that the mouth... The uh, thing came out of the mouth. The thing came out of the mouth, I mean. But, yeah. 30 years of Jewel. I mean, well, 30 years of Jewel slash the haunted house. Just, wow, it is an amazing ride. I mean, you go through the first room here, of course, and you already think, look at the theming on the wall, they've got that skeleton up there. You know, who even looks there at the ceiling? The knives coming out and everything. And, you know, the vines on the walls, the paintwork on hit the walls as well. It's just such an amazing ride for its scenery, Jewel. It's theming. I mean, you know, it could be a bit more, I mean, slightly less more for kids but they've got to keep it child friendly of course as well because I noticed on the on to hours POV of Jewel 361 it says that you cannot like add this to your playlist or something because it's for YouTube kids so you know there's a sign that basically just a little sign that it's been changed to YouTube kids and stuff I mean Jewel's been changed to kids not Jewel's been changed to YouTube kids I'm getting carried away now, but yeah. So yeah, the um, the, uh, the this room here, there's like no, I mean there's theme in there, but no one even looks there. Of course, you've got 
this is unexpected. That's probably the most unexpected thing, the thing on Jewel. Whereas this over here, that that or there, is the thing that everyone can see at the start of the Trommel Tunnel. Like even it's that noticeable from the other side of the Trommel Tunnel. People will start shooting it as soon as it opens before they even get to the actual point where you're at there. If you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm making much sense there, but yeah. Um, but you know, Joel, it's a really, I know I've said this millions of times in this video, but it's a really, really special ride for me. It, you know, 30 years of it, wow. It's been entertaining people for 30 years. The, the actual ride itself is the size of a football pitch. It's very jaw dropping if you're a coaster addict and you know it's something I would ride if you've never ridden it before it you know I don't know if I'm giving you away any spoilers I mean the detail I've gone into this like recreation like doing a storage area I mean like that's a bit spoiling it I mean I know a lot of people don't even realize that there's a big room like that in Jewel itself but you know every ride has its like secret areas secret rooms i mean even the exit line on jewel's got a secret room i believe i don't even know what's in there actually i think it's just like a cleaner's closet i'll show you what i mean it's in the exit line it's just right here where this very thin looking door is i don't know why i've made this door so thin i'll have to change that but yeah it's like a cleaner's closet in here so I, th I believe and then they've got like cleaning supplies i'm not too sure what's in there but yeah you come out here you got the exit line there, you got the chandelier up there. You've even got the curved archway looking thing here, which is nice. You've got the bird on this little table. The uh, pictures which look like they're moving, but they're not. I'm not talking about the pictures of the screens in the moving paintings, no. You know, even this counter where you can look at your photos, they've got the targets in, of course. And I tried to make it as realistic as I can. The only thing is, Planet Coaster, the one thing they're not very good at is doing, like, rings. So, you know, I had to, like, this is the smallest ring I could find in Planet Coaster to fit in to this, like, tiny space. But, yeah, it even added, like, these here as well. So, the shop I'm not really doing because it's a bit of a funny space I've got here for the shop, Planet Coaster measurements for you. And then the ceiling, I believe, is a bit too high as well. But, you know, that's um, Jules. Tw oh, I've also worked, added a change around here, by the way, guys. I've changed the Planet Coaster windows. And I've done these windows instead to make it look a lot more realistic for you there. It looks quite good in the night time, that does. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Look at that. That looks really good now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this uh, 30th happy birthday video for Jewel. Just doing a bit of work there in the queue line as well. Just to celebrate Jewel's birthday. It's an absolutely special ride to me. You guys know how much it means to me, Jewel. I'm, I'm hoping it does stay for another 30 more years or longer. And entertaining people for a lot more years, hopefully Jewel is. So yeah. Next time you go to Alton Towers, and if you've watched this video, of course, next time you go to Alton Towers, just be thinking about the detail on Jewel instead of actually shooting your target at all these animatronics and stuff because the detail that's gone into there is just incredible. So, you know, just think about that when you're on Jewel next time instead of actually shooting your target. I mean, obviously, yeah, shoot your target, help you know, it's all part of the fun, but yeah, you know, just try to think about all the theming that's gone into Jewel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. There will be more Planet Coaster videos coming out in the future. Uh, this week. And uh, yeah. Uh, I will be doing a Splash Landings episode this week. And possibly a Gangster Granny one. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, please go watch our vlog from Sunday. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.